Sau đó mình thêm dầu ô lưu nguyên chất Thường thì tỷ lệ để làm sốt salad Giấm và dầu là 3 1 Tức là 3 phần dầu đối với 1 phần giấm Tiếp theo chị anh sẽ cho một ít mù tạt vàng Để sốt có thêm vị mặn Và cũng có gì đó nó Chúng biết là này Thanh nhì hơn ấy Mình dưới đều lên trên rau ừ, Sau đó bạn sẽ dùng một cái thìa to hoặc một cái gắp như này để đảo rau Xà lát một khi trộn xong thì cần phải được ăn ngay Vì trong sốt có ít muối sẽ khiến cho lá rau bị ráo nước nên chúng ta nếu mà chưa khách chưa đến hoặc chưa đến giờ ăn mình có thể vắt rồi trộn xà lát các lá củ quả với nhau rồi để ngăn mát làm trước sốt để ngăn mát khi nào chuẩn bị ăn thì mình mới trộn tại bàn rồi ăn ngay rồi. Hey, it's um, close to 7 another late day in the office and I got picked up by my husband again um, today has been a day full of meetings and um, in general meetings to discuss our business and operational issues uh, pain points resolving matters that are um, not working and um, Yeah, it was a good it was a good meeting because everyone was taking part very aggressively it's not really our meetings are not really just me talking and the rest listening kind of meetings but are more uh, enabling a discussion where everyone speaks up and uh, contributes their opinion and ideas and then it um, circles around the table and finally we conclude um, on a actionable solution to move forward so nothing in a meeting no issue in a meeting should end uh, open-ended it should always end with an actionable um, a solution to go forward with a deadline and a, a responsible person that is going to take that action um, I took my own notes of the meeting even though um, there, there is someone else also taking the meeting minutes but I prefer to have my own um, notes and uh, add on my own remarks, points so that I can follow up and check on the progress uh, quickly after this meeting and another um, rule that I like to apply to all meetings is that the leaders will speak last so normally leaders are just um, to listen most of the time so after everyone is done talking then it's time for me to speak either to wrap up or to uh, conclude and decide on on the next action and the next uh, point of discussion 
and uh, I think that is a much better way of conducting a meeting than to have the host or the leader be the only one talking and uh, everyone just quietly listening and taking notes. Um, both ways will get things done but um, by being a listener you will enable your team members to to shine more and to be able to contribute their strengths more than uh, than you would if they were just to sit there and listen and do according to your instructions um, no matter how smart you are there are always limitation in your thinking and in your capacity so I'm very into group work, teamwork and open discussions with lots of um, lots of debate so noisy meetings to me are good meetings mm -hmm. I'm quite hungry now and uh, I heard Oli is uh, constipating again so besides work my top concern at home is always his toilet problems so yeah let's uh, let's see how he does tonight and uh, that's a Monday that's quite a strong Monday that we had I think we're gonna have a productive week see you tomorrow